After the World War II, Japan was prohibited to continue research on aeronautical engineering. The faculty members of this university working in that area then made up their minds to build a new engineering discipline under the name of mathematical engineering, which meant not only to apply existing mathematics to practical problems, but also to create new theory and method therefrom. This turned out to be a timely decision because the world soon witnessed the emergence of digital computers and information theory, which opened extensive fields to cultivate with mathematics. At the beginning of this century, we changed the department name from mathematical engineering to mathematical informatics, putting emphasis on its connection to information technology. But the basic idea remained the same. Our undergraduate program requires or encourages students to study not only mathematics and computer science, but also physics and engineering, so that they learn how to model real-world problems. We believe this is crucial to our research activity and their future careers. Contemporary cryptography provides us many practical applications, and it has become a fundamental tool in information technology. The security of the widely used RSA crypt system is based on the hardness of factorization problem. However, the factorization problem is no longer secure in the era of quantum computer. Therefore, in our group, we are investigating post-quantum cryptography, which aims at constructing next-generation cryptography secure against quantum computers. The security of post-quantum cryptography based on, for example, the hardness of solving the shortest vector problem in lattices or finding a solution of multivariate polynomials. So we need to keep investigating the security of post-quantum cryptography in order to bring it in practice. In my laboratory, we are considering special numerical methods called structure preserving methods. So let us explain this with an example. And suppose we hope to simulate superconductivity. And this is mathematically modeled by ginz brand equations, and its dynamics is governed by a big physical feature that the energy goes down as time goes. But if we simply put this model into computer, then the energy can blow up, which is unphysical and unbearably wrong. So in order to handle this difficult problem, we pay attention to a mathematical structure behind the dispersion property, which is a gradient structure. And we order computers to pay the same attention to this gradient structure. Then the energy goes down beautifully, and accordingly, we see beautiful bursts of vortices, while in a chaos simulation, we find catastrophes. I am modeling prostate cancer mathematically. We assume that the dynamics of cancer is represented by some systems which can be described by certain differential equations. Then we are trying to search an optimal treatment schedule based on the results calculated by the models personally adjusted for each patient. I hope that someday our research benefits someone's health. Department of Mathematical Informatics is the best environment for students who are strongly interested in applying mathematics in real-world problems. Now I am really enjoying working on such an interdisciplinary field. I am developing algorithms for machine learning and data analysis from the viewpoint of combinatorial optimization. In particular, I am interested in the greedy algorithm. Despite its simplicity, the greedy algorithm performs well in a variety of applications. The goal of my research is unraveling a mystery of why and when the greedy algorithm works well. I believe pure mathematics can provide insight into open problems in science and engineering. In my research, I look for mathematical properties that determine when a physical structure is rigid or flexible. These structures could be as big as a bridge or a building, or as small as a protein or a crystal. Although the applications are different, the underlying mathematics is the same. By understanding the mathematics better, we can build faster algorithms, which will allow scientists and engineers to quickly predict when a structure has the properties they want. I'm working on how to design secure, privacy-friendly and fair IT systems using cryptography. It is important 
that these features such as security and fairness is ensured mathematically and the industry really appreciates the output, the contributions from the department to ensure uh, these properties theoretically rigorously. As a president of JSIM, I really appreciate their continuous leadership from the start of the community 28 years ago. JSIM, together with Mathematical Society of Japan, is working hard to welcome you at ISIM 2023, which will be held for the first time in Japan.